Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art, and you can see it's clip art because it's got a gray bounding box that goes around when you move it. And they were trying to do, they're going to put a globe in here and have people around the globe. Uh, with just five people, I think the repetitiveness is going to be too much. But we can change, we can add some people. You know, maybe this is the only clip art, and I, I'm going to, basically all she asks is how to do this but I'm gonna suggest doing this. I'm gonna to go to bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and trace this real quick. There's a bunch of white. Your normal, your trace version is gonna be on top so you can move it out of the way. I made a yellow box, order back a page, and you can see all the white. Now there's two ways you can do this. There's also some grays in there. So what we need to do is select our item and go to object and break, ungroup it. And then just start deleting the white. I'm actually gonna delete that, which is a hole in the man, but a hole in the lady. But uh, depending on whether they're gonna print them. So you need to get rid of all the white, all the gray. Um, that's not what the video is about, but I just, you know, I, I like to show everything when I think it's something. And like there, there's two sets of gray. Now, what I said about making more people, uh, it's pretty easy. You know, once you get these things traced, um, see there's a gray piece in his tie, but on that piece, I would turn it black. You know, just make it black, and then it's a black piece of his tie. And it's pretty generic. Uh, figurines, uh, take the uh, smoothing tool and just smooth that guy's head out a little bit. She's got a block from the clip art. Um, also, if you've got the shape tool, you can always select it, then select it. And then you can actually delete nodes. And I'm not going to take the time. But now let's build another person and kind of show you how that would work. And also her foot down there is funny. But let's take this man, control D and make a duplicate of this man and move him over here and let's reverse him. So he looks a little different. Let's make him a little more different. Let's take his sleeves of his shirt or at least make his hands go up into his shirt. And that way he'll look a little different. You know, you could maybe make him a little taller. Uh, you know, you could... There's a lot you could do with every person. I'm gonna grab those two. I'm gonna make his shirt come down a little bit more to the tie, make his tie kind of stand out. Now he looks like a different person. You can do that with every one of them. And then just kind of, you know, now that man's on both sides, which is bad. So we need to take like this lady in the middle. She's actually got some gray on her leg right there, which, doesn't really matter, but let's take this lady, control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the control button and move her over. So now, and this would be a good example, let's mirror the other way. And you know, you could change a lot of that. So now let's group them together. Control G and group them together. I'm gonna make them quite a bit smaller. I am gonna move my bitmap and I'm gonna draw an ellipse and I'm gonna hit P, put it at the center of the page. I'm gonna take our new group of people and I'm gonna hit P, put it at the center of the page. Then I'm gonna grab the shift, shift select this, this lips and go T to put them just in the top, just so I can zoom in. And then I can grab this person, start moving up because I really want it right in the center. Now, we want all their feet touching the circle. Envelope tool, which is underneath your sh shadow, fly out, just get the envelope tool, immediately take away these. They're not gonna do you any good. Then move that one down, move that one down, and then take these handles just to get it on that line. Now, what we need to do, we really probably need to bring, well, I didn't get rid of that one. We really need to bring this guy in because when we rotate it, uh, he can't be that direction. He has to be the other direction. 
that's probably good enough. Now, depending on your how big you are and how big you started, let's control D and make a duplicate and move it to the center. Doesn't look like it is, but watch it. it well, it didn't. A lot of times you have to move off and have it snap to the center. Now it doesn't look like it is, but it actually is. Let's rotate it until that next person meets. Boy, that's great. We're at 29. 30 is divisible by it. And then you'd kind of look at it, make sure that's close enough. And you could still go back and grab your envelope tool and just kind of move this man over a little bit. Just remember, you can only move him about halfway because then he's going to start encroaching on the next figure. Now let's control G or control D to make a duplicate. Put the rotate. If you don't ever get that center rotation, you're going to move the whole thing. Now let's rotate it 30 degrees. That looks pretty good. Control D, 60 degrees. Control D, all the way around. Pretty cool, pretty amazing. Uh, you know, these two women are clo too close together, but they are backwards. You know, um, you could just, depending on how you want it to look, uh, that's just one other way. And just real quick, because uh, I like showing it, you know, Control D is good, but if you just take this and move the center rotation to the center, and we're going to use the trans. You don't have to have a copy. Move that to the center. I don't think I'm there. And I normally would zoom in to help me. And whenever you don't hit that X, you get the shape. All right, now we're in the center. Now we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Transform, Rotation, 30 degrees, 11 times, because we already have one. And voila, you've got it that quick. Pretty cool. I hope it helped that person. And thank you for watching.